So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Welcome back, everybody. You know, last time we were together, me and Mr. Brown was sitting at the dinner table and we was eating a vineyard recipe, a tomato casserole. And uh, I was talking about doing some canning. And I invited y'all to come along with me to can up some butter, some ghee, some clarified butter, which we call ghee. And... Uh, I want to make it shelf stable. Now, I'm going to put a disclaimer out there, just like we always have to do. It's not an approved method, but it has been approved for many, many, many years by many people that do a lot of canning and preserving and feeding a lot of people. So, that's what I go by. But, if y'all don't feel safe with it, just watch me do it and... Uh, but I wouldn't do something that was unsafe, I promise you. Um, so why would I want, even want to make clarified butter? And why would I even want to can it? Well, I mean, there's lots of reasons. Um, number one is butter is getting outrageous, just like everything else is. The price of groceries is going up, but our paychecks are not. Um, so we have to try to maybe find some on sale, which is not very often in my area. You don't find sale, groceries on sale hardly ever around here. And that's sad, um, unless it's out of date or something. But, uh, so freezer space. You know, putting a lot of stuff up anymore because of the way things are. Of course, we've always done that. The freezer has always been full of uh, garden stuff and uh, meat that we've put up and and wild game and stuff like that fish and it's just always been full so you don't always have that freezer space so that's two reasons clarified butter is just it's liquid gold in a jar and it's very expensive at the store so if you can make it yourself and you can can it up safely it'll stay on your shelf up to five years we do know that anything after that I don't know because I'm gonna say you're going to use it even before five years and um, so that's just some of the reasons um, you know I grew up putting things back having a pantry where it's always ready for hard times or just everyday living because we did not run to the store very often I know y'all have heard me talk about that several times. I want to tell y'all real quick. Most of the recipes that you go online and look at that are canning butter, there's people that water bath it, and some just do it the uh, where they heat it up, put it in a jar, and uh, just put the lid on, and shake it up every so often. I don't, I don't go by that method, but if that works for other people, that's wonderful. But I'm going to pressure can mine, and. Uh, it just makes me feel uh, like I can keep it more shelf stable that way. That's just me. And, uh, but like I said, it's not an approved method. And so, but it's been done for many years. I just want y'all to know that. And, uh, but like I've always said, I'm not ever going to do anything on here that's 
<laughs> that's going to be wrong or, you know, going to put in, make anybody sick. But you can go on YouTube and you can go to Google and you can just research and research. And you can go back a long ways to how, you know, people been canning butter. Now, I've got nine pounds in here of butter. And I didn't want to bore y'all with watching me <laughs> unwrap all that butter, some sticks of butter. Now, most people will can unsalted butter. Uh, I've been putting butter up in the freezer for quite a while, and when I dug it out, most of it was salted. I will be using salted and unsalted. So, I'm just kind of mixing it up. It's going to take about one and three-fourths stick to make a pint jar of ghee. I believe I'm saying that right. I've got nine pounds here. So I've got quite a few of my pint jars in the... They've been sterilized. They've been washed and sterilized along with my lids. You want to make sure that your jars are very dry. You don't want no moisture in your jars. So I've got mine, after they've been sterilized, I've got them dried and I've got them in the oven on a cookie sheet. And I've got my oven at 250. And that's where they're going to stay. They're going to be good and hot. They're sterilized. And uh, I'll just take out a few at a time as I'm uh, filling them up. But I'm going to bring y'all in closer because my nine pounds of butter is in a stainless steel pot. I've got a stainless steel slotted spoon here that I'm stirring it with. It'll take just a little while for it all to melt. But I want y'all to see the whole process. I've got my, my canner here. I've got three quarts of water in it. And I've got a tablespoon of vinegar in there with it. And what that does, it just it helps keep down all the, the spots and residue off your jars because I my water, I have well water, and it's beautiful water, but it is limey. So uh, I do have a tablespoon of vinegar in there. I've got my sterilized lids, rings. I've got me a little bowl to put my foam in because we will be taking the foam off of this. And then I've got a little bowl of vinegar to take my jars in and out. So we are ready to start this and get it going. And I'm so excited. I've not done this in a long, long, long time. But it's just getting to that point of putting just so much more in the pantry and for it to be have a long shelf life. So I asked y'all if you wanted to come along with me and so many of y'all said yes, that you wanted to. So get your stuff together, whether if you're doing a pint jars, half pint, whatever fits your needs. And uh, I'm going to bring y'all over here closer because I want y'all to see the whole process. Now I've got my burner on a medium to low and that's about where I need it on my stove. And you can see that the butter is really starting to melt. You got to keep an eye on it now because you sure don't want it to scorch and burn. But you can see it's already starting to get that foam on top. And as we go along, I'll just start taking that foam off. And I'm going to be putting that foam in a bowl, a little bowl, and I'll save that foam because that foam is good stuff. You can use that just like you would your overall butter. It'll get solid. You spread it on toast, make a grilled cheese with it, put it on your popcorn, just whatever. You'll be able to use that foam. So what we're doing is we're melting it down, getting the liquid, clarifying it. Your milk solids will go to the bottom of the pot. That's why you just got to be careful with it. And it, at some point, you'll quit stirring it. 
I got my canner, like I said, I've got three quarts of water in it and it's heating up over here. So as we go along in this process, you can see it's not boiling yet, but it is getting quite a bit of foam. And we're going to be taking this foam off as we go. I can't remember um, exactly the price, but I did look at um, a container of ghee at Walmart, and it was $16, and it might have been 16 ounces. I cannot remember. I wish I remember how many ounces, but it was just unreal to me. But like I said, it's liquid gold, so. But I'm just going to continue with the foam process as we go. Keep an eye on it. Like I said, you don't want to, want to scorch. It will start to come to a boil. You don't want it to be at a rapid boil. And what I do with mine is once it starts that that sizzling, that pop pop sound in there, and that's your that your liquid is. Um, I usually try to go 20 minutes once it gets to that stage, but you got to watch it very, very carefully. You can see when I move that foam away how beautiful that butter's already getting. I know some people are like, that's just too time consuming. It really isn't. I mean, the overall process, getting your stuff, you know, together and, and doing this, maybe 30, 35 minutes, and it's so worth it. Anytime that you can take something and make it shelf stable for several years, you've you've done a lot. You've done a lot for your family. Always remember that. No matter what it is. You know, when we were getting fresh milk and getting so much fresh cream off of it. We was making so much butter, and uh, we was eating that butter up like it was candy. And you can do this with fresh butter that you've made. You can, to the point of getting it made, your fresh butter, and just going completely into this process right here. So you can make your homemade butter shelf stable so I'm going to continue to watch it and when it comes back to a plop plop bubbly bubbly I'll bring you back and show you so you see how it's doing that bubble and it still keeps making quite a bit of foam and I'm just very patiently taking that foam off as we go. I'm going to let it do this for about 20 minutes. I don't want it to come to just a rapid rolling crazy bowl. I want it just like that. And you see every once in a while it does a, a gargle. I know I'm not good at, <laughs> at sound effects but I know Daniel, I'll say, Danny, the truck's making a weird noise. He'll say, what does it sound like? So, you know, I'm not real good at that. 
But anyways, you can see what I'm talking about. You see how all of a sudden it'll just do like a lava. So I think I've got about, I don't know, 10 more minutes, I think. It's been the overall process about 20 minutes. I've skimmed up. I want you to look at the phone I got in this bow. But let me tell you something. We will use this, and it does have a little bit of the uh, butter still in it. It's hard to get it all. But uh, what I'm going to do is I've got, I'm doing mine in half pints. They're hot. This one, I'm doing one at a time until I can get to where I can do two at a time. But for y'all, I'm going to do one at a time. And I've got my hot jar right out of the oven. I'm going to put my funnel on there. Then I've got a strainer. And I've run myself out of cheesecloth, I guess. I could not find it. So I'm using a flour sack material. And that's going to catch any of them solids. So I'm going to ladle this in there. So my butter's still hot. My water in my canner is over there staying hot. My jars are hot. And we'll just be patient with it. Take our time. Because it'll be a beautiful product when you get done. I'm going to fill it up to right the bottom of that rim. And I may have got too much on this one. You, I like to leave about an inch head space. And that's at the very bottom of your, your, uh, where your ring screws on there. I got just a little bit too much in this one, but that's okay. I'm going to let it finish draining right here. Since I got too much, I mean, it's still okay. It's not dangerous or nothing. I'm just letting this drain just a little bit. Now, you can see I don't have, there's no uh, solids in here that I can see because we've skimmed most of it up. The solids have went to the bottom of your pot and then we double strained it. So you just want to clean the top, the rim. Make sure there's no butter on it. Now, because um, I've done this method so many times, I don't have my lids in hot water. If you prefer them to be in hot water and then as you put them on you need to make sure you dry them very very well because you don't want no moisture in here but I've not had any trouble with just sterilized dry rims I mean lids sorry and putting it on there there's no debubbling and then I'm just going to put my ring on there finger tight and then I'm gonna put this one in my canner and I'm gonna get a few more and I'm gonna bring y'all up just a little bit closer so y'all can see how pretty this clarified butter is hey I took out two hot jars I'm just my house is uh, we've got the air on in here and I'm wanting my jars to stay hot. And uh, so I'm just taking a few out at a time. And we're just going to continue our process of filling them up. I usually always, always keep um, cheesecloth. And I'm sure it's around here. <laughs> I just haven't found it yet. It would uh, go through the strainer a lot quicker than it is this flour sack material. But even on the other hand, this flour sack material is really holding on to all them uh, solids too. So you're going to get a more pure ghee, clarified butter. There's just some things you do in life that you just have to be patient with. <laughs> 
and this would be one of them. But I'm telling you, when you get all these jars filled, and you look at the product that you have accomplished, it's just, like I said, it's just so worth it. This will have at least a five-year shelf stable. You don't have to keep it in the refrigerator. When you open it up, it's not rock hard solid. So you'll be able to open a jar up and use it on toast or whatever just pretty quick. Now, if y'all wondering how come I'm home today, today is Friday. I'm doing this and fixing to upload it on the same day. I've got vacation days. And Miss Lori and Mr. Brown have got a lot going on on the homestead. <laughs> and uh, we decided we was just going to take a day off and try to get a little bit caught up. We do have surprise, another surprise for y'all that's coming in on the homestead that... Uh, Really, in a way, it's kind of dear to our heart because it kind of brings us back to many years ago of our childhood and plus bringing our children up. And uh, I'll wait for Mr. Brown to show that one to you. I think he's, he's kind of like a little kid with a new, a new pet. He just, I think he's kind of excited about it. Because sometimes you just you just miss that stuff, you know. But you can't get too much and you can't get overwhelmed with it, especially when you work off the homestead. Because there's just too much, too much to take care of. Okay, so we got two of them done, two more. And you see how pretty. It's just so pretty in the jar. And this was just, um, most of it was great value, sweet cream butter. I think some of it might have been a local um, brand. I think it's called Highland. I can't remember. I had to look at my boxes. But anyways, so we got the rinse clean. I'm going to take two more lids. rings. I'm going to put these in my canner. See how pretty, pretty and golden that is. Now, with my altitude, which is uh, 600, most anything that I can is 10 pounds of pressure, 10 to 11, and um, it'll be for 60 minutes. So I'm going to continue to fill my jars and we'll see how much, how many pints I got from nine pounds. I thought I was going to have about 10 pounds. And I'm going to be scouting around and see if I can find any better sweet cream butter on sale. I might try to find and see if I can find some fresh raw milk. And I'm going to be putting some more. I'm going to be canning some more. 
and it's all because most of it is because of the state that we're in with everybody hauling food shortages and uh, prices I know are going up because I see that myself and like I say you know prices are going up horribly but my paycheck hasn't that's for sure but there's a lot of people that are struggling so I don't complain about that really I hope you're not struggling the good Lord's gonna gonna look after you we pray every day for peace and comfort for God's will whatever that is but he gives us the ability to take care of ourselves and that's what he expects us to do he's not going to hand everything to us kind of like we do maybe our own children my children were going to school high school and and they worked they paid for their insurance they paid for their vehicles of course back then cell phones were not a big thing but even when they did get a cell phone they bought it their self they paid the bill their self my kids were very very responsible children I was just so blessed such good children I love them so much they're very responsible adults they work hard they don't expect anything to be given to them so I guess we've done something right I love the Lord number one none of us are perfect me and Mr. Brown are away from it but we just we pray every day we struggle every day and uh, the good Lord gets us through it that's for sure so I'm just jammering away here I'm gonna finish all these and we're gonna come back before I get them before I start canning them okay what I got going on in here is I've got 12 half pints now I'm gonna save the rest of this for me to use now because I'm out but I want to show y'all as I tip this you can see the milk solids on the bottom so the rest of this I'm going to strain probably a quart jar and I'm going to keep it for myself or like I said to use right now and of course I got all this right here that I can use and this will be my shelf stable ghee I'm going to put the lid on it um, and I will be doing more later too I want to have plenty in the pantry that's for sure okay, we got our lid on and before I put it on I always check my seal I always make sure that this hole is clear I always make sure that both of these buttons are good like they're supposed to be you just need to check them every time and uh, now we're just gonna wait for the steam to start coming out of the spout and once it does it has a really good strain coming out I'll time it for 10 minutes so I'm so glad that y'all decided to come back today and see me and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video we're not done yet but I just want to come back and tell you how much I love y'all and uh, I want to thank everybody for all the the uh, beautiful emails and letters and cards and gifts uh, me and Mr. Brown appreciate all of it so much and uh, like I always say it fills our heart just to sometimes it just wants to explode sometimes I don't know but anyways I hope that y'all have enjoyed the process of canning ghee so far um, I pressure can mine because um, like a lot of other products there's not any acidity in this 
So I just feel that it's a safer process for me. Um, if you do it a different way and it works, I think that's wonderful, like I said, but this is just the way that I was taught to do it and uh, just, just why I do it. But anyways, if y'all haven't never pressure canned butter or ghee, I hope y'all try it. Um, like I said, this kind of stuff we've always done all of our life, but it's really getting to be more worrisome anymore. So I hope that y'all are putting a lot up in your pantry. Anything, don't buy stuff that you wouldn't normally use. Uh, be very frugal with your money and, and buy essentials, that's for sure. There's a few other things besides pantry uh, products that we would love to share with y'all, and we will. It's just a few things that you might need if, indeed, we have blackouts, brownouts, or have to go off-grid. And that's why I'm going to be doing a lot more canning stuff out of my freezer, because I'm not going to take that chance. So anyways, we'll be back in just a little bit, and uh, we'll start counting down the process of canning this beautiful jar of liquid gold. Okay, it's been venting for about 10 minutes, so we're going to put our thing on there. We're just going to let it start bringing up pressure to about 10 pounds of pressure. And uh, when it gets to 10 pounds of pressure, I'll start timing it about 60 minutes. So here we go, our finished product, clarified butter, ghee. Isn't it pretty? So after 60 minutes, turned off the heat, let the pressure come completely down, then waited 10 more minutes, and then took our jars out. I ended up with 12 half pints, and then I got a pint that uh, right back there you see that I'm going to put, I'm going to use right now. I didn't pressure can it because I am going to be using it. And then we got a whole bowl of the foam back there that we're going to be using. So I hope y'all went on this journey with me. And if y'all haven't done it yet, but you're fixing to, I'm just going to tell you happy canning. I hope it all works out for you. So you can have some of these jars of liquid gold in your pantry too. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, just for a couple of days. We'll be back. We'll be doing something. Not sure what it'll be, but y'all know we're going to be doing something. <laughs> Mr. Brown might be showing y'all his new surprise, too. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I do hope that y'all either can you some butter or make you some clarified butter and can it up and uh, make it shelf stable. So with that being said, we love y'all. Everybody stay safe and have a beautiful weekend. I hope y'all that haven't gotten rain, it's been, I know it's been a month that we've not had any rain. Um, if not longer, I, I can't remember. I just know things are very dry. We're having to come out every two days and water. But I know we'll be getting rain sometime. So I pray that y'all that are in a drought, I hope y'all get some rain soon. I really do. So God bless everybody.